Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Cropping lets you trim away parts of an image that are unnecessary, which can enhance the composition of an image. You can crop an image by using the Crop tool within the toolbox, which has the most options for cropping available. To crop an image, first click the Crop tool in the toolbox, and then select the Crop tool in the Tool Options bar. Note that the Crop tool, Cookie Cutter tool, and Perspective Crop Tool share the same button in the toolbox in Photoshop Elements. In the Tool Options bar, you can select a crop overlay by clicking one of the following buttons in the Grid Overlay section. None, Rule of Thirds, or Grid. If you select one of these overlays other than None, it appears on screen as you crop your image. You can change the pixel resolution of the cropped image by typing a value into the Resolution field, and then selecting either pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter from the adjacent drop-down menu. To constrain your cropping area, use the Show Crop Preset Options drop-down to select one of the preset aspect ratios, such as 3 by 5 or 4 by 6, to restrict the crop area to the size or ratio selected. If you select the Use Photo Ratio choice, the crop area will be restricted to the same size ratio as the current image. You can create a custom cropping area size by choosing the No Restriction choice from the drop-down, and then entering your own width and height values into the adjacent W and H fields below the drop-down. You can select the No Restriction choice and not enter a height or width to freely select a cropping area. You can also select from some suggested cropping areas shown in the Crop Suggestions area towards the right end of the Tool Options bar. To select a cropping area shown, click it to select it. The cropping area will be automatically selected within the image. Below the cropping area in the image, you can then just click the green checkmark button for Commit to apply the crop or click the Cancel button to cancel the crop. To manually create a cropping area if desired, click and drag over the area to keep within the image. As you click and drag, you will see a dashed line appear around the perimeter of the crop area. After you release your mouse button, the crop area appears on screen and shows any grid overlay you selected. If you chose to draw a cropping area that can be resized, then you will also see resizing handles appear at the corners and sides of the crop area. To resize the crop area, hover your mouse pointer over one of these handles until the cursor turns into a double-pointed arrow. Then click and drag the handle to change the size of the crop area. If you chose to constrain the proportions of the image, the other side will adhere to the constraint settings. The area that appears inside the crop area border is what you will keep. You can also move the crop area by clicking and dragging inside the crop area to move it around the image. You will also see two buttons appear at the bottom right corner of the crop area. You can click the Cancel button to cancel cropping the image, or you can click the Commit or Checkmark button to finish cropping the image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachyoucomp dot com forward slash free